Hi, so uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, in this little video, I'm just going to be doing a, a carbon fibre uh, build tag for uh, a customer um, who we've done some work for previously. It's the uh, owner of a detailing company called uh, Intimate Detailing in Ellesmere Port. Uh, very, very reputable company. I'll put a link down in the description, but they, they do uh, very high end cars. Um, uh, Ferraris, Porsches, uh, Bentleys, you name it, just, you know, supercars and dream cars, basically. Um, but the, uh, the owner, Kev, is actually making a track car, uh, a BMW turbocharged uh, 325 ICI, uh, which is uh, it's quite, a, quite a special build. Um, if, if, you, if you get to know him off his uh, Facebook page or his Instagram, you'll start seeing uh, photos of this build. It's uh, super special. But um, anyway, he's tasked me with the... Um, the task of doing a, uh, a build tag and a, and a bin tag for him. Uh, it's on the outside of it. It looks quite simple to do. It's just going to be uh, white paint on the carbon fibre background, but there's uh, some quite in intricate, um, intricate text on it. Uh, I'm going to put the BMW logo on it as well, which should look pretty cool. But that's literally we're talking three or four mil in diameter for the actual logo. So it's, it's going to be some very intricate machine doing. But he's given me just. I'll put a picture up on there that you'll see a bit clear in this, but just some dimensions and a, just a little photo of the existing tag just for me to work with. So I've got that. I just need to crack on and get the uh, get the CAD side of it drawn up. Then I can do the uh, the CNC program and then we can start machining some carbon. So uh, let's uh, let's do it. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, so I've had a couple of brews, um, got it drawn up. I've done a little bit of a print just to see what we're looking at, and I mean, you can just see the uh, the BMW logo is it's really, really intricate. I mean, just getting the vernier on it, you can see the, uh, the text is 2.2 mil, and the thickness is going to be. About half a mil, so it's uh, it's going to be really fine. I have to use a really fine V bit for machining this, but got the uh, got the program open now, so it's going to import the the CAD work, and then we can start sorting out the G code uh, ready for the CNC machine. So, so it's all systems go. So let's keep going. Okay, so I'm in my little uh, CNC room. Uh, I've got the program all loaded into the CNC software. I've uh, set the machine coordinates correctly, done the uh, the z-axis depth, so it knows the uh, the top of the carbon. Got a not off-cut piece of carbon here, ready to go. Um, don't know if you can see, but I'm going to start off with a uh, 30 degree uh, V cutter. That'll do the uh, the main engraving. 
Then just when it's finished all the engraving, it's going to request a tool change, which will change over to a two millimeter end mill. Just really fine and intricate. So uh, let's get this machine going. Right, so uh, here's the tags all done. Uh, for those of you with a keen eye, might have spotted that I'd put uh, BMW built now, as opposed to November. Um, yeah, there's a little bit of an oversight there, but these things do happen. So I had to quickly do another tag, uh, obviously with the correct text. Uh, so I knocked that one up really quick. But uh, they've all been uh, polished up now, top coated, and they're ready to send out to the customers. So it's, it's a nice finish, really clear. But uh, yeah, had <laughs> a few problems, but got there in the end. Um, so yeah, that's the end of the video. Uh, please like, share, subscribe if you like the content, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. So cheers.